Hi guys, welcome to another episode. Today is Saturday, the what is it, the 21st? March 21st. We have overcast weather, cold front. It was 60 the last two days and nights. Uh, had people finding mushrooms already, but then it got real way down to 37 at night last night. Uh, we got six mile an hour northeast winds. But some good news is all the cows were standing up on the way here, so I'm optimistic. Uh, we're trying for both bass and crappie. I'm here with my, my new buddy, Dustin. We both met in the Missouri Fishing Group on Facebook, so showing him a new place today, guys. We're gonna get something. We're not leaving until we get something. If we're here till four in the morning. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, right. Make her sit there and wait. No, we're not ready yet. <laughs> she wouldn't tolerate that, I don't think. But it's a fish. Oh man, it's like they're they're just clamping on and, and then letting go. He's already there. There we go. Yep, it's the smaller ones again. Yeah, you got a bite too. All right, guys, we got our first crappie. It's a little white, about. Five inches, six inches. I may be able to use this minnow again. We're hoping it ain't a repeat of last weekend when I was here where they were all the same. I want the big, the big dogs, the big 15, two, three pounders. Yep, there you go. You definitely had one. Oh, there you go. Hey, it's looking promising. We can just get the right school of them. It was like last time everyone was the same, so I'm hoping there's a, at least a couple mixed in. As long as one out of like every five are decent, then that's cool. All right, Dustin got his first crappie. We are both on the board. He got him a uh, white, about the same as mine. Looks like it's twin sister. <laughs> Look at that, he's just barely taking it. Oh, there we go. Hey, it's better. Hey, I didn't get any, I got maybe two this big last time. That was it. And a white crappie again? Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, it is. White crappie, you can always tell they got that black dot on their oh, okay. gill plate too. And another secret, the black crappie always got a black line going across their eyes through the middle, big black, like a magic marker. That ain't too bad, guys, it's improving. He's about seven. You still want, you want a little bigger one than that to keep, that ain't worth cleaning, is it? No, I would. You want it to be at least eight or nine, probably. I'm using my minnow again. Hey, we're getting them. <laughs> I don't even care about the size right now because we're so in such a slump. I'm gonna get them poles out of your way somehow. I wanna go down there sometime in February, like them guys, where you pay to have someone take you out. Man, it makes the ones around here look, puts them to shame. All right, guys, we just doubled up. We got two whites again. We are on the white crappie, just not on the blacks. Blacks are usually shallower this time of the year, probably. Yep, twins again. I'm gonna see if my minnow still swims around. Probably not, oh, he fell off the hook. <laughs> as soon as I lowered it, it was dead anyway. The footer would do good for getting over there, but really I don't need it. Zerba, see, look, I'm getting them right here. It's not the right size, man. I bet you these are the ones he freaking put in here. Cause these are all spillway crappie. All right, guys, we are on the money, just not on the size. Huh? No, William. There we go. 
Yes. Oh yeah. Not bad. Not big, but not bad. All right, spinner bait it is then, huh? They still ain't fighting. <laughs> they don't, they wiggle a lot, but they don't run. They just kind of wiggle in place. <laughs> it's funny, like they're spazzing out. All right, guys, I got a large mouth on a half ounce. Booyah, chartreuse and white. He's about three quarters of a pound, 11 inches. We've had a bad hour here. Me and him were on the crappie like crazy for about 10 minutes and that sun poked out and they just uh, just completely shut off so we're going to try again later we're going to try for bass right now and that gives me a little promising there ain't many in Missouri except way over around Springfield and all that I guess Oh man, it's a it's a big one. This is big, big big. Oh man! All right, guys, I'm on a real fish finally. Oh yeah, he's two at least. Felt bigger than what he was, but it's and it's an improvement for sure. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Look how fat it is. It's not really that big. It's like 13 inches, but that's definitely a female, I would think. Right in the hard part of the corner of the mouth, the gristle. Oh man, got it. All right, guys, hey, they're heating up as the water heats up with the sun. The high was only supposed to be 52, but it feels warmer than that. And the wind has died pretty much. Now we're getting some bass. We can always try for crappie later. No. Yes, it is. Holy crap. That's a spotted gar, man. Or a pickerel. No, it's a gar. Oh my God. Get him, get him, get him. Oh, he might. Oh, the branch. That sure is a gar. That's a big one too, man. Snag that bastard. He's so inactive. There's another one behind him. Oh my God. I tell you what, oh yes he does. He's got two lampreys on him. Guys, this is a big spotted uh, spotted gar. Man, if you get him, you're gonna have a hell of a fight. Mm-mm. They're hot water fish. Really takes, oh, what was that? Oh my God, he's got a big old bass. He, Folks, he was just trying to get this gar interested. And instead, he got about a three pound large mouth. Or a good two, two. Hey, should have came back here sooner. God, that's crazy, man. Hey, that's the biggest one of the day, isn't it? He fought, he didn't give up either. I wish, I wish that dang gar stood, would have stayed in sight, though. Really? Oh, man, yeah. All right, guys, Dustin has departed. He went on home. I'm going to stay about another hour, see if I can get some decent crappie. They are biting again. Uh, it's still the little ones, though, unfortunately. They're a little white. got to be some decent ones in here. This makes no sense how one day you can come here and catch 12, 13 inches and then come again and it's nothing but sevens. One mushroom you don't ever want to mess with right here, guys. Call it Deadly Gallerina. It is deadly. It will kill you. Liver failure. Severe diarrhea, I don't even know what else, but it's it's bad. It will it's the only one in Missouri considered deadly. There's ones that say poisonous, make you very sick, but you'll live through them, but these are deadly. Deadly gallerine. Do not ever eat one of them. Mm. Oh! 
Oh, there we go. Yes. You know what the trick is? Look how deep I am now. I said it three feet. You need to be three whole feet. Guys, finally, after a lot of frustration, we figured out the problem. They are way deeper than we thought. We're catching all the little seven inchers. I slid my bobber down about another foot. I'm actually about, yeah, three full feet, and I finally got a nice, he's about 12 inches. White crappie. Nice. All right. And right outside the front, see they're just deeper down to the big one. That ain't too shabby as it looks. Wow. He's 11 anyway. Not too bad. Hey. We're fishing too shallow for them. I'm three full feet and I was like right here. Tons of mushrooms inside this log. Not right there. I purposely try to get stuck where I can fish from on the other side. Or it won't blow around anymore. Had one? Look at this, I can fish on the other side. There's no reason I shouldn't catch a fish standing on this log. It might be the new thing to do. Oh, Wilma's got a nice crappie. Oh my god. Oh wow, Wilma. Hey, it made her worth coming for her. I'm gonna get up on the log and we'll get pictures of you. What not? That's a giant. That might be 14. Oh yeah. Look how pale he is though. Isn't he real dull? Well this is where the crop you were. That is huge and pregnant. It's a big pregnant female. He's 13. He's about 13 inches. Big white. Right, hold it up for us. Be careful. This made it worth coming. She really didn't want to go today. And, uh, just like that. That's a nice crappie. Big pregnant female, guys. That's why it's so pale, because the males are the dark ones. He's about 13 inches. It took her a matter, guys, we just pulled up to this tree. In a matter of 20 seconds, she had that fish on. At first, she says, oh my God, I just missed one. And I thought maybe she was, Imagine the thing, that is a new one. Wow. We'll put her back because it's pregnant. Guys, that's a nice crappie. Made it worth coming now. We finally got on. They're starting to pick up, maybe. I'd say he's 13. Hold on. That's a big crappie. Oh, yes, it did work. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a bass. Well, it's a fish. I thought I had a big crappie. I guess right when I said this, I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> oh my god. Alright guys, I got a large mouth on an orange green sickle bobby garland. I had it tipped with a minnow and the minnow is gone. I got one left. That's very small. About half a pound. Pregnant. Full age.
my battery went dead while I caught this fish. So I just, I finally got my first crappie in a little while. And it is a black crappie and he is, he is actually dark. He has the black fins. Either a lot has changed in one day, because it has been 70 degrees all day, it may have. They changed throughout today. It's, it's possible. I ain't gonna rule it out. We have not caught any this dark all day. His gills are turning completely black. And right there on the bottom is gray, smoke colored. A little eight inch black. Caught him on an uh, orange dream sickle, tipped with a middle vertical jigging. And my minnow's gone.